Morgan Ground, Ground 12 action, action in Palmerston North, North between the Central Pulse and the Northern Mystics. It was a very close game, Timmy Pata Bailey. In the end, the Pulse won at 49 points to 45, but it was really entertaining. It was entertaining and it was really scrappy in the beginning of the game. The penalty count was huge. I think in the end it was 163 penalties. So it just showed the nerves, but also how determined each of the teams wanted to win out there. And the second half of the Pulse, uh, their captain Katrina Grant, she was outstanding, wasn't she? Oh, she was huge. And I think she was part of the difference which turned that whole team around. When they see your defenders getting great right intercepts, the attackers know they've got to take it down there. Just your ability to change your style that wasn't working in that first half. But the other thing that I think helped her do that was the defence around her. That whole defensive unit stepped up and created that ball for Grant. I must, I must admit, she did have some individual touches in there as well. Absolutely fantastic. Katrina Grant coming in in some fine form late into this competition. They made a number of changes at halftime in the central polls. One of them was Liana Leota again. And man, has that girl got some class. She's just getting better and better. I think she was great when she first came in. But just her experience, but also her now and just her calmness giving that ball into the shooters, which does relax the shooters a lot. When, when the shooters, shooters get a good ball, they, they keep offering and offering for more. The other thing that she was really, really good at was on the defence. She came through for some crucial ball as well. That one intercept that she did go, did get, sorry, was just exceptional. Yep, and off the head. Yeah, she's very good, isn't she? Donna Wickham's struggling, struggling with an ankle injury, so let's hope she will be right uh, going through in their final two games, just two rounds ago after this one. Let's have a look at the numbers. Uh, what stood out for you? Well, I think, I think the, the big thing, thing is the penalties, and I've talked about that all through the game, but it's just too high. They need to adjust to what the umpires are calling. The yeah. other thing there is the um, a team set goal, 56 to the Pulse and 50 to the Mystics. Let's look at the shooting stats as well. Pretty good in the circle, both sides, as you can see. Yeah, it was really good. And Wilkins impressed me, she came on 16 out of 16, exactly what Robbie Borden would have wanted from her. And she did get a little knock to her ankle, and I saw her give herself a little bit of self-talk, saying, come on, we've only got a little bit more time to go. So just a competitor out there, and exactly what the Pulse need. So it's just the third time in history the Pulse have beaten the Mystics in this AEC competition, 49 points to 45. They are still in the hunt for the playoff.